Hey guys, this is the Techno Trip, and we are going to do an installation video on the Android SDK. Uh, so this will involve uh, Google's APIs and uh, operating system, so all the way up to um, ice cream uh, jelly bean and ice cream sandwich, which are the main two, uh, as well as even uh, Android 1.0, 2.0, and all the others. So the first thing we want to do is we want to download it from developer.android.com slash sdk slash index.html. If you look in the description at the bottom of this video, you can just click on the link. It will go straight to it and you just have to click this blue button. You don't need to sign in or anything and it will download it instantly, which is fantastic. If you're on a Windows device, this automatically will change and it will say download the SDK for Windows. However, this uh, walkthrough will be going through the Windows version, however the Mac version is very similar, if not the same. So once we've downloaded it, it will be a zip file, and we want to unzip that or extract it, and we will be left with this folder, and in that folder we have a bunch of files and folders, uh, and this is basically where the installation begins of the Android SDK. So in here we want to go to Tools, and we want to double click on Android, which is a Unix command line um, application, I guess you can call it. And it's going to run a whole bunch of uh, scripts and whatnot, and it's going to open up the Android SDK Manager. So the SDK Manager is used to... Uh, help install and manage um, installed and not installed uh, packages. So, for example, you've got SDK tools. We've got a package for all the different Android operating systems, such as Ice Cream Sandwich, Jelly Bean, um, and all the other ones, uh, as well as some extras. So, what we want to do here is we want to make sure that we're downloading Android 4.1, Android 4.0.3, Android 4.0. 3.2, 3.1, and 3.0. These are the most popular. Currently, at the moment, uh, the most popular Android operating system is 3.0 and above, uh, as a lot of Android devices out there, due to the fragmentation, uh, run a lot of older uh, style devices. So you'll find that Android is not only on the latest Samsung Galaxy S3, but it's also on a lot of low-end devices, such as $100 phones. So we're going to install that as well as the Android SDK tools, Android SDK platform tools. And if we go down, we've also got some extras here that we can install. And we might even install the Google Analytics SDK, which helps manage um, and get data about your app. So whether people are tapping on ads um, when you integrate ads and stuff like that. So uh, we could also, if you wanted to, install the AdMob Ads SDK. Uh, so that is optional. In fact, all of these are optional. But um, the Android, uh, uh, the Google AdMob Ads is basically a mobile advertising platform that can even be used on um, iOS. So if you don't like Apple's iAd system, you can use AdMob instead, which can give um, better pay, worse pay. It all depends on the circumstance that you're in. So once we've done that, we can see that we're uh, up to installing 35 packages. And so what we want to do is we want to click that. So here we got um, a overall, um, I guess, description and um, summary of each package that's going to be installed. So the ones with the uh, question marks are not going to be installed or aren't there. Um, but as you can see, this is quite big. We've got a 10 meg, 150 meg, we've got a 45 meg, a 42 meg, 43 meg, 100 meg again, 100 meg, uh, 99 meg, and the list just goes on and on and on and on. And so we want to make sure that if you are going to download this, you need you have plenty of quota, and you have time to sit around <laughs> twiddling your thumbs basically. Uh, so once we've done that, we just want to click uh, install, and so it's in, it's going to inter install every single package that we've said. So it's going to download it from a server from Google servers and install it straight away. So it's a very automatic process, which is awesome. Um, and it is a, a fantastic utility or manager that you can use. So once it's done, I'm gonna stop this because I've already uh, installed it. It will then look a bit like this. Let's close that. Go into my previously downloaded and you have a lot more stuff.
So you have stuff like add-ons, which was previously there actually, system images of all the um, uh, all the different. So here's the kernel. So this is basically the operating system right here, Android 15. Um, you've got stuff like sources. Um, and we've also got stuff like tools. Uh, so stay tuned. Um, click uh, if you click the link in the video, uh, it will actually send you to a video on how to install the Android um, SDK utility extension manager for Eclipse. That's the base. That's the easiest way I can put it. So when you're in Eclipse, which is the industry standard for uh, Java and an open source program, you can actually create Java class files. You can uh, not Java Android class files. Android templates, XML templates, and all that within a, a um, IDE, so an integrated development uh, development environment. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, if not, it should be up. And click the annotation uh, right in front of your screen. So this has been the Techno Trip. Make sure to subscribe for some more uh, videos, and I shall see you guys later.